here's uh, here's a start then. I've uh, I've fitted the initial set of resistors and capacitors. Uh, there's still some more to put in, but I'm following the procedure uh, that it mentions. The the build sequence in the manual. You can see the crystal there near the centre of the board, and uh, I've put in the socket for the CPU. A nice turned socket. So all good so far. No problems uh, fitting anything. The resistors are tight. Um, you'll uh, you'll find you'll they'll just need a little bit of persuasion to lay flat. Uh, but that's great because it means that uh, when you turn the board upside down, they don't fall out, which is uh, excellent. So, on with the build. So, a little further on, uh, more capacitors fitted. Um, the two um, adjustable uh, pots here at the right of the uh, of the board. Um, and various other components fitted. Uh, next, we're going to install a bit of hardware. So a little, uh, a little further, uh, fitted the USB socket here, uh, and done the first initial test, which um, involves plugging USB into here. Um, they suggest using something else other than uh, an expensive PC, and I can understand why, uh, using um, some kind of uh, wall wart or, or maybe uh, a little. Uh, battery or something USB battery just uh, plug into there and then you measure across these two um, socket uh, points here um, and the idea is that you're uh, looking for something uh, between 3 and 3.6 volts mine measured 3.29 so I'm quite happy with that the first test has passed uh, so everything, uh, hopefully, on the board that I've fitted so far is working well. And uh, I'm getting the correct voltage just here. So, onward and upward. Um, so here we are. Um, I have no components left. So that must be it. Um, fully built up. Extremely enjoyable build. Um, before you fit uh, these two uh, chips here, um, you do a test with the LEDs, which passed with flying colours, which was great. Um, so we've passed all the tests up to now, and it's gone extremely well. It's a really nice build. It's a really good board, um, really easy to solder onto. Um, so everything is done. Everything appears to be the right way round, um, and uh, everything tests out. So I have some final tests to do. Um, to check various loopbacks and, uh, and bits and pieces. Um, but the actual build is finished. It's taken me about three hours, um, maybe slightly less, uh, but I have been filming. Um, so uh, that slows me down. I reckon I could put this together a second time in two hours or so, including the tests. Um, so extremely uh, extremely happy with this so hopefully it'll pass the final tests um, and then uh, we can see if we can actually get it working so that's the build of the uh, tarpon nino tnc